Okay, it's time, to, time for some more turntable adventures. Well, I thought I'd give 78s a go on this old Crosley. Now, I haven't got a proper um, 78 uh, needle on there, but I can't seem to find one on the internet. Uh, from what I can gather, it's pretty much um, just the one that's on there is the one that does everything. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. No, I couldn't find a proper needle, and I'm not going to buy one, because honestly, it's not worth it. Now, I thought I might conduct a little experiment this time. And I'm not just going to play a 78 from the 30s or 40s. No, uh, I thought I'd go the extra mile and get a record that is 108 years old. Uh, this is a cinch record from 1907. It's the Hobnail Boots That Father Wore by Billy Williams. Now, um, as you can tell, it's very dirty. And uh, the sound on it isn't great because these, uh, these cinch records were never great at the time from what I can gather. So, um... What I'm going to do first is uh, make a little comparison, actually. Now, on here I've got the uh, the Crosley Steeple Tone, uh, whatever it's called. <laughs> it's got no model name or anything. It's got a Stackomatic Crosley unit inside. Of course, uh, you can use it as one of those old uh, 70s 45 stackers, if you wish. And uh, the mechanism works pretty well. Uh, it's just uh, let down by the mono, quite tinny sound. Of course, you do have to plug it in and everything, and it's got a built-in radio tuner. But, um, the problem is it gets dirty quite easily. And let's face it, it doesn't look great either. Now, on the other side, we have something from 80-odd years ago. This is an HMV Model 104 gramophone. Um, from about, yeah, early 1930s, I think. Uh, of course, with it being a gramophone, it, it is completely wireless. You do not, indeed, do not have to plug it in. All you got to do is, uh, crank it up when you want to use it and uh, put a new needle on and this is actually featuring the uh, the Model 5A sound box which has uh, since gone into the stuff of legend for gramophone collectors uh, yeah it really is a great uh, little sound box so um, hmm yeah what I'll do is I'll play this record on the uh, Crosby first uh, let me just set my camera down there maybe something like that there we go of course, I'm not going to let it drop down because that would just be silly. Okay, here we go. This is a 108 year old record on a cheap Crosley turntable without the proper needle. <laughs> okay, let's go for it. <laughs> Miss Anna Street to the Parker Street, his suit wearing a portion. The kid he's trapped in a day by track, it really was a portion. Me and Miss Anna from the age of four, up till eleven, you could sleep and snore. Nice and cozy in a box of straw, in the hot nail boots that my father wore. I died, I died, I died, I died. Oh, stop. Oh, we took a trip on board a ship, father and so misguided. Wouldn't walk about with his legs stretched out, so the ship it went lopsided. Down went the vessel through the hole in the floor, all set the captain and his mother-in-law. The saved that night, but they rolled this shore in the hot no boots that my father wore. Okay, that's enough. I'm not going to... Uh, if you want to listen to the whole song, it is on my channel. In fact, I think I uploaded it just yesterday or something like that. Now, let's move it over to the machine that's 80 years old. And uh, see how it compares in terms of noise and in uh, def definition of sound. With these records, um, I'd go by just uh, hearing how well you can define the vocals because uh, trying to get it to... <laughs> the whole frequency range, you can't do it on these things. You just can't. Anyway, let's have a listen. There Father's feet took a path of street, his boots wearing proportion. 
The kid he fought in a day by God, it really was a caution. Me and my brother from the age of four, up till eleven used to sleep and snore. Nice and cozy in a box of straw, in the hot nail boots that my father wore. Lie, 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 All right, let's uh, keep it fair, have the same amount of time. Uh, yeah, if you couldn't hear the difference, trust me, the um, the sound on this is far less muffled and low and noisy as that one is. And uh, well, not to mention this just does give the authentic sound, uh, even though this is a 1907 record on a 1930s machine, um, the sound is just far, it's far nicer on the old ears, you certainly don't get as much noise. Um, and this is playing with a steel needle, mind you, <laughs> so uh, it's not like it's going to wear the record down any more than it is by playing it on that. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure what else other fun I can have with this machine, but playing 108 year old records on it has been one of them. Um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of uh, entertainment.